Welcome back to our Koha cataloging series. Today we're unlocking a huge time saver, bulk updating records using Koha's Mark modification templates. Whether you're fixing errors, updating metadata, or weeding collections, this feature is a game changer. Let's dive in. Batch updating. Overview. First, log into your Koha staff interface and navigate to cataloging. In the middle column, you'll find batch editing, a powerful feature that includes six tools. Today, we'll cover all of them, starting with batch item modification. Part 1. Batch item modification. Need to update locations or call numbers for hundreds of items? Instead of manual edits, use batch item modification. Steps to use batch item modification. Click on batch item modification. Choose the input method. Upload a barcode file or item number file or scan items one by one. Enter the barcodes, one barcode per line, in the provided box. Click Continue. A new screen will appear where you can edit fields such as item location, item type, or call number. Click Save to apply the changes. Part 2. Batch Item Deletion Batch item deletion works similarly, but be careful. Deleted records are gone forever. Always double-check your barcode list before hitting Delete. Steps to use Batch Item Deletion Click on Batch Item Deletion. Choose the input method. Upload a barcode file or item number file or scan items one by one. Enter the barcodes one barcode per line in the provided box. Click Continue. A new screen will appear showing the items to be deleted. Check the items you want to delete. Click Delete Selected Items. Deleted items cannot be recovered. Double check your filters. Or click Cancel if you do not want to proceed. Part 3. Batch Record Modification Need to update hundreds of records at once. Batch Record Modification lets you make bulk changes to titles, authors, subjects, and other mark fields, saving time while keeping your catalog accurate and consistent. Steps to use Batch Record Modification Click on Batch Record Modification. Choose the record type. Upload a file containing biblio numbers or enter a list of biblio numbers one per line. Select the appropriate mark modification template. If you don't know how to create a mark modification template, watch part 5 of this tutorial. Click Continue. You can view the modified mark records by clicking Show Mark. Click Modify Selected Records to apply the changes. Part 4. Batch Record Deletion. This feature allows librarians to permanently remove multiple bibliographic records and their associated items or holdings data in bulk. Click on Batch Record Deletion. Choose the record type. Upload a file containing biblio numbers or Enter a list of biblio numbers, one per line. Click Continue. Click Delete selected records to permanently remove them. Part 5. Mark Modification. Templates. Here's the magic. Mark Modification. Templates automate complex changes. For example, to shift from Mark 260 to 264 fields for RDA compliance, create a template to move subfields like this. Steps to create a Mark Modification Template. Click on Mark Modification Templates. Click plus New template. Provide a name for the template. If you want to duplicate an existing template, choose that option. Define actions. Click plus new action to add a rule. From the add, a new action box choose an action such as delete, add new, update existing or add new, move, copy or copy and replace. Example, moving mark 260 to 264, RDA compliance. The mark 264 field replaces the older 260 field in RDA cataloging, providing providing greater detail for publication, distribution, manufacture, and copyright dates. To migrate data from 260 to 264, move 260A to 264A. Action, choose Move. Rule, move all field 260A to field 264A. Add a description, relocate place of publication. Click Add Action. Move 260B to 264B. Click plus New Action. Action, choose Move. Rule. Move all field 260B to field 264B. Add a description. Relocate publisher name. Click Add Action. Move all field 260C to field 264C. Click plus New Action. Action. Choose Move. Rule. Move all field 260C 
to field 264C, add a description, relocate publication date, click add action. Boom! Consistent updates without manual work. Part 6. Automatic item modifications by age. Tired of manually updating item locations? Koha's automatic item modifications by age lets you set rules to auto-update item attributes based on their age, like moving reference items to general stacks after a year. How to set up age-based rules. Go to automatic item modifications by age. Click the plus add rules button to create new rules. If rules already exist, you'll also see an edit rules button. To add a new rule, click plus add rules. Age in days. Enter the threshold, 360. Age field, defaults to items, date accessioned, change if needed. Set conditions. Specify criteria to target specific items. Items.item type equals REF. Apply changes. Define substitutions. Change items.item type to gen. Click Save. Add more rules as needed. That's it. With these bulk tools, you'll save hours or even days of cataloging work. Hit like if this helped, subscribe for more Koha tips, and drop a comment if you'd like a deep dive on any feature. See you in Part 8.